you guys remember on the seven rules of buying a C3 Corvette that one thing you need to look for is frame rest and birdcage rest? Well, let me show you this car. This is a perfect example of what can happen if you don't check well enough on the frame. So this car is a 1969 convertible. It's a four speed small block car. It's a really nice car, at least from the top. So it's a little dirty, but you can tell that this car if you were to look at it, you know, it, it is pretty decent. Now, let me show you what's going on underneath. Alright, so I'm going to show you what a rusty frame looks like. This frame has had patches put on. You can see pretty much right where my uh, arm is on my lift, there's a rectangular patch that somebody just booger welded in. There's also a patch right here on this, eh, it's another rectangular end to the frame they put a patch there. But what concerns me is other areas of this frame that you can't see. So what I think happened is there, let me take you up underneath. You see that? That is the side of the frame and I bet you the bottom of the frame looked very similar to that before they put these patches in. If we come along this side, you can see in here, I mean big hunks of rust that are just hanging out inside. Let's go along this frame rail. You can see where the pinch welds, where actually where the two pieces come together, these are little drain holes, okay, uh, in between the welds. So they weld here, weld here, and it's, you know, left open. You can see where the rust has pretty much just opened up the frame. It just kind of pooches out. If you come over here to this cross member, I mean, it's literally it's in half. You see that? <laughs> it's pretty bad. If we come along here. You can see the chunks of uh, the chunks of rust that I can get out of here. So yeah, all that just came out. If we come along the front of the chassis. There is a hole right here that, I don't know if they tried to cover it before or what they did, but that's definitely, that's definitely a weak point. Yeah, I can move that with my finger. Coming over to this other side, this frame rail is not too bad. You know, it comes down here, it looks okay. I can still get chunks out of this hole. But you see how how fat, I mean, you see it's, it's almost wavy. They don't look like that normally. I would say this side over here is, it's about normal from here to here. And once you get to this kind of stuff, it's kind of poochy. So we come over to this side, you can just see how it, they've kind of just opened up all the way across. Now, the floor blocks any kind of view from this side, but you can see this, <laughs> that's not part of my lift. That's a patch that somebody booger welded on there. And we can come along here. See that? That's not dirt. That's metal, at least it was. So, it looks like what happened is this car was rusty and somebody booger welded it. I can actually see into the frame to the other side and I can see holes. If you look up to the side, you can see that that whole corner is just gone. You can see that they basically booger welded everything. Under here, where the trailing arm pocket is, I mean that's just that's just scary. But the scariest is actually up here. I don't know if you can see that, but that's where the one part of the frame hits the other part of the frame, and it's missing. So I think this frame has been somewhat kind of undercoated at one point.
So this cross member right here, I mean, is, it is completely full of rust particles. You know what? I'm not going to spend any more time under this car. <laughs> I know this video was short. It's probably really kind of boring, but I mean, honest truth, that's the problem you can get on cars like this. They look beautiful. They run and drive. It's a 69 Stingray. Let's buy it. Let's get it. But I'm hoping this will you know, help somebody to actually look at the frame, take a really close look at them because the problem is once they get that rusty, you can't fix that. It's all from the inside out and it's all in the back end and you just need to replace the whole thing. And that can cost $20,000, $30,000 if you have a shop do it. It's a huge ordeal. So in my opinion, if you're going to buy one, buy one that doesn't have a rusty frame if you can. And if you know it has a frame, rusty frame, make sure you get it cheap. So, until next time, we'll see you guys later. Did you watch to the end of the video? If you did, guess what is out here? It's a little sneak peek of a video to come.